Joining us now on all this, David Bernan, uh, Bernstein Senior Research Analyst. Um, here we are. The summer is upon us. Uh, I thought the YOLO situation was never going to, it was going to stop at some point. There was a ceiling to it. We were just talking about it in the context of, of driving, and it doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to be over. People want to travel. Um, the, after the pandemic and after dealing with uh, a couple years being locked away, uh, travel demand remains really, really strong. I also think there's something up to uh, the idea that the changes in work-life balance, remote work is uh, adding, adding a little bit to extra demand. And as you mentioned, uh, travel demand this summer should be up 6 7% relative to last year. Are we still seeing a shift in terms of the timing? You know, there was a moment sort of post-pandemic where, you know, the hot, the hot day used to be Friday Friday, Friday afternoon, Sunday night, and then it moved from Thursday night, you know, up to Thursday night and back even on Monday night. So are we seeing any switch in, in that kind of traffic? Yeah, there is definitely a, a change in terms of the cadence of, of, of when the most in-demand flights are. Uh, the airlines have all started to adjust their schedules, trying to kind of uh, position themselves to, to, to stop running uh, peak flights Monday morning, maybe stretching it out a little bit during the week. So we are still seeing how those travel demand patterns are changing. And I don't think we're at any sort of a new normal yet. I still think uh, the airlines are kind of adjusting to it. So they're going to have some better opportunities, I think, to yield manage going forward as they get a better understanding of exactly when and how people want to travel in this new this, this new environment. Uh, we got Southwest up on the screen. I'm curious uh, of the airlines as stocks, as investments. What do you like today? What don't you like today? So we have a strong preference for the legacy major airlines, uh, Delta, United, American. Um, the discounters, and particularly the ultra-low cost carriers uh, that have been uh, operating with a movie theater ticket model kind of for a while, where they give you a very low price and then add in a bunch of bag fees, that entire low end of the market has been massively disrupted. And that's also had some negative implications for Southwest as one of the bigger discounters. The major airlines, Delta, United, and American, have figured out how to put a basic product out in the marketplace that competes in the discount aisle that allows them then to protect their fares at the upper end of the ladder. And they've essentially flooded the market with discount capacity. That's putting a lot of pressure on the lower cost operators. And in fact, when you look at how the uh, industry has been performing over the last couple of years, the margins of the legacy airlines are much better than any of the discounters. And that's a, a, a fairly uh, new phenomenon and a direct result of the changes in the way they're bringing their products to market. What are you seeing on pricing? And by the way, how much of all of this is being impacted by just a shortage of, of available planes? I mean, physical planes, given all the issues we've had with Boeing and everything else? Yeah, so um, capacity constraints are definitely part of it. And one of the things we like about the airline investment case right now is the supply-demand uh, characteristics are, are definitely um, a little bit more in your favor. Uh, but I do think that um, this idea that, you know, fares at the low end may be a little bit lower, but at the higher end are growing a little bit. Pushing up that higher end of the fare distribution has really been what Delta has shown the industry how to do. And that's changing their economics in a way that's really beneficial, I think, to pretty much the broad travel market. It's not so good for the lower cost carriers and the discounters who are trying to now compete with these full service airlines that can get you anywhere in any style and any, any price point. Um, but it is definitely uh, uh, something that I think the travel uh, public is going to benefit from in the long run. David, I uh, want to thank you for joining us. Hope you have a great uh, long weekend. And if you're traveling somewhere, that the, the flight gets there uh, safely and fast. Go early because TSA was screenings were up 7% yesterday.